A space marine, or Adeptus Astartes, is the living embodiment of the Emperor's wrath, an incredibly potent weapon of destruction infused with the gene seed of their mighty Primarch. Each battle brother is trained in accordance with a Codex Astartes, a sacred tome which dictates the military strategy and organization of the forces of the Adeptus Astartes. As part of their training, the Space Marines are mentally conditioned to uphold their duties with unwavering loyalty and fearless resolve. They stride into battle wielding the most devastating war gear the Imperium can offer, which they use to lethal effect. Perhaps the most iconic and well-known of all the Space Marine armaments is their vast range of bolt weapons. From small close-ranged pistols to mid-range rifles and massive long-range heavy bolters, all variants of these weapons fire self-propelled micro-missiles designed to punch deep into enemy armour before detonating with tremendous explosive force. Accompanying their formidable weaponry is the equally iconic power armour. This highly durable, heavily armoured suit enables the Space Marines to shrug off all but the deadliest enemy firepower. It also serves to protect them from the harsh environments they are deployed in as well as enhancing their combat abilities through advanced Autosense features and server-assisted fibre bundles, all powered from the backpack unit. The power armour provides a level of personal protection comparable to that of a light battle tank. In addition to the regular power armour, the Space Marines can be equipped with an ancient Terminator armour, which provides even more protection and allows troops to be teleported directly into the thick of battle, wielding heavier armaments such as assault cannons. The new generation of Primara Space Marines wear advanced Mark X armour, which has been proven to be highly adaptable, depending on the battlefield role. These are just a few examples of the extensive range of finely crafted arms and armour the Space Marines have at their disposal. From crackling power swords to lethal plasma incinerators, all are used to deliver the Emperor's wrath to the enemies of the Imperium. Every Space Marine chapter also benefits from a well-furnished armoury of vehicles, which are crafted and crewed to the highest possible standards. The armoury is often called upon to deploy fleets of armoured battle tanks, transport vehicles, gunships, mobile artillery and mighty dreadnoughts into the war zones across the galaxy. Large battle fleets of heavily armoured spacecraft are used to transport their companies where they are needed. These vessels can unleash a formidable amount of firepower to punch through orbital blockades and deploy their troops with drop pods and teleportation arrays rapidly delivering them directly into the heart of the battle. The techniques of speed, precision and overwhelming force form the core of the Space Marines' combat strategy. They use such methods to great effect, which helps to offset their limited numbers. Space Marines are ideally suited to critical mission objectives that can change the tide of war. A well-placed strike force of Adeptus Astartes can completely destroy the enemy's command structure or disable an orbital defence system prior to a major offensive. Space Marines often accompany a larger Imperial force into war to spearhead the initial attack, bringing the full fury of their advanced weapons and strategy to bear, then depart for their next war zone, leaving the remaining Imperial forces to take care of what remains of the enemy. Due to their rigorous training and advanced equipment, Space Marines can undertake missions that no other fighting force would dare attempt, such as venturing deep into space hulks, cleansing them of Xenos infestations, or fighting on worlds with environments too harsh and polluted for regular humans to survive. They are able to face the monstrous abominations of chaos and the savage terror of the Xenos races that would break the morale of lesser warriors, operate for months independently behind enemy lines, and hold out for weeks at a time without resupply or support against overwhelming forces. Any such demanding mission can only be undertaken by the Emperor's finest. To date, there are hundreds of different Space Marine chapters which have each forged their own legendary path in history. They can all trace their genetic origins back to one of the first founding chapters, 
which were formed when the Loyalist Space Marine Legions were split into smaller chapters during the event known as the Second Founding, in the wake of the Horus Heresy. These first founding chapters maintain the teachings of their Primarch and closely resemble them in physical appearance and characteristics. They are stoic defenders of humanity, with heroic deeds stretching back over 10,000 years, and although some are wrought with secrets and curses, each successive generation of Space Marines fights on, unrelenting, to defend the Imperium of mankind. The Dark Angels were the first legion to be created during the first founding in the 30th millennium. They are stubborn and relentless in battle, and are rightfully feared by their enemies. They're a very secretive chapter who hide terrible and shameful truths about the events of betrayal that occurred during the Horus Heresy, and have since then spent their time engaged in a hunt for atonement. The Dark Angels perform their duties with fierce loyalty, and are now among the Emperor's most faithful servants, forever seeking absolution from their shrouded past. Clad in red power armour, the Blood Angels are proud and noble sons of the angel-winged Primarch Sanguinius. They are known for their bloodthirsty and furious assaults in battle, and have saved countless worlds from despair across the galaxy. The Blood Angels have suffered great losses in recent times, but with the arrival of the Indomitus Crusade and the Primaris Space Marines, their numbers have been replenished and their strength renewed. For all their noble and legendary actions, the warriors of the Blood Angels harbour a dark curse, referred to as the Flaw, or the Black Rage by the Angels themselves, which can undo all their greatest works in an instant and see them descend into a crazed blood frenzy from which there is no return. Of all the chapters of Space Marines, perhaps the most well-known and dedicated to the Codex Astartes are the Ultramarines. They are the chapter of the reborn Primarch Rebute Gilliman himself. They are proud warriors of courage and honour, and tales of their heroic deeds are told on countless worlds throughout the galaxy. Wherever the enemies of mankind threaten the Imperium, the Ultramarines stand ready to face them. The Imperial Fists the sons of the Primarch Rogal Dawn are amongst the most valiant of the chapters. They are held as paragons of the principle set down in the Codex Astartes and specialise in siege warfare. They are the Praetorians of Terror, the Emperor's unwavering shield which armies of heretics, traitors and Xenos have broken upon. They are the steadfast defenders of the Imperium. The Imperial Fists are inherently stubborn and refuse to accept defeat or surrender ground to the enemy, which has seen them and their successor chapters take severe casualties in doomed last stand situations, bringing them to near extinction time and again. The White Scars are skilled hunters from the windswept plains of Chagoras. Their combat tactics revolve around ultra-rapid deployment, catching their enemies off guard and quickly dispatching them. They have become expert riders, favouring the speed of bikes and land speeders to track and encircle their prey before striking with overwhelming force. These swift and deadly tactics have given the White Scars a reputation for their savage assaults and are rightfully feared by the enemies of the Imperium. The Space Wolves of Fenris descend from the gene seed of their long-lost Primarch Lehman Russ. They are a chapter which significantly deviates from the Codex Astartes in organisation as they choose to embrace the savage and barbarian culture of their homeworld. They are famed for their pursuit of glory and honour and are always eager for battle so that they may regale their saga and stories to their kin during the traditional Great Feast. Similar to the White Scars in combat tactics, the Space Wolves hunt their enemies like prey and annihilate them without mercy. The Salamanders hail from the volcanic world of Nocturne and are paragons of strength and honour. They are true inheritors of their Primarch Vulcan's legacy. As a result of the exotic radiation emitted from their planet's surface, the skin of every Salamander is darkened and their eyes are a blood red. They are skilled warriors forged upon the anvil of war and are master artisans able to forge the finest war gear found in the Imperium Due to the environment of their homeworld, they favour weapons that engulf their enemies in plumes of cleansing flame. 
The salamanders believe that all battle is a test of their skill, determination and endurance. From the world of Medusa, the cold and calculating iron hands believe that their very flesh is weak and they strive to advance themselves with ever more bionic augmentations. This has made the iron hands very resilient in battle, able to shrug off most injuries that may spell doom for any other space marine. They employ a merciless logic to achieve victory at all costs when on the battlefield and are known for their brutally efficient resolve. The warriors of the Raven Guard, the sons of Korax, favour stealth and covert operations, often preparing ambushes to slay their enemies, offsetting their small numbers by striking with speed and deadly precision. They have stalked the enemies of the Imperium across thousands of worlds as shadows in the darkness, delivering fatal killing blows, then vanishing into the darkness before their targets have time to react. These first founding chapters form the core of the Space Marine forces from which all other chapters are derived. Whether it is a divergent successor chapter or one of the newer Ultima founding Primaris chapters, all fight their wars in the Emperor's name. They are the defenders of humanity, the angels of death.